YouTubers, what's up? Hey man, I wanted to share this simple little tool with you um, for aligning the tailstock in your lathe. This tool is based on Tuplicane's method of tailstock alignment. Um, you can get it pretty close. The disadvantage to it is um, you're going to have variances in your lathe bed. So once you move your tailstock, you're really not going to be dead nuts centered. Um, I think the most accurate method is the barbell type um, alignment bar. Um, that way you could have different length bars for your tailstock to be in different positions. But if you move your tailstock and just wanted to um, get dead center close up to the chuck, this method works pretty darn good. Basically all I did is I took a little piece of material, um, just machined it, uh, center drilled it, a uh, quarter 20, um, milled a little slot in it, then I took uh, a piece of half inch hot rolled from hardware store, um, milled it out um, basically so this thing locks in in here like that. Pretty simple little tool. And then I drilled a um, quarter inch hole here with a lock screw for my Starrett plunge indicator right here. Um, basically that just goes into here. Like that. Tighten it up. And this of course goes in here. Um, the reason I milled out a length of what five inches here, six inches, um, is so you have an adjustment. You may have different size tools in your tailstock. This will allow you to align that individual tool for your job. So that's why I made this adjustment. Um, Tublicane's method was a uh, two by four with a hole drilled in it, and it's pretty darn effective. But I was always drilling holes in different places to try to get different um, tool diameters. So I just came up with this quick idea, and it works pretty well. Um, just basically, this goes together like this. And of course you can make it any length you need. And what we'll do is we'll go over to the lathe here in a minute and I'll show you how this tool works. So uh, let me shut you down and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back um, over at the lathe now and basically all you do is you uh, take your little homemade tool, chuck it up, and bring your tailstock in without crashing your indicator, of course. Lock it down, bring her in. Um, for this demonstration, I basically use just a um, Morse Taper 3 to Jacobs Taper 6 um, drill chuck arbor. And then once you get that set, make sure it's locked down and your quill's locked because it'll show a variance. And then basically just take your chuck with your lathe, lathe off, of course, uh, bring it around. And then set your dial indicator to zero on this side. And of course, I'm having a hard time filming this because it's real tight in here, but you'll get the idea. And then basically with your dial indicator zeroed, just bring this around exactly to the other side. And then get a mirror, take a look at your reading. How about that? Zero. Um, now that's how you bring in your side to side. Now if this was out and you had to move it, of course, if let's say you're out uh, four thousandths, 
You just move it two thousandths, bring it back, zero it, and you should be zero. Now, you can also check to see how high or low your tailstock is in case you have to shim your tailstock up or down. Of course, bring it to the top, make sure you're zeroed, and then uh, take a mirror and set it on your cross slide or your bedway and bring this right around. Uh, my tailstock is about a half a thousandth um, high, and that's normal. Um, I think manufacturers allow um, wear in. But anyway, I uh, wanted to share that with you. I'd like to thank Tublicane for the idea. Um, I'll quick and grab the tool that I was using before I made that, which is very effective. Actually, I have two of them. Um, I have this wood block that I used to use and just chuck that up and I also have this one too that works pretty well but as you can see I have a whole bunch of holes drilled and I was drilling a different hole for each different uh, tool I was putting in my tailstock so I was like you know this has got to be a little easier so a um, couple hours one day I just put that together and made that and um, I hope this helps everyone out man see you for now <laughs>